This is going to be another contest entry. So many contests going on in the VC right now. We've got Chris Profi, who is doing his 1,000 subs contest. Jason Skills at Low Noise is doing a 200 subs contest. you got Logan, who's got his 700 subs contest going on. And if you don't like subs contests, you're probably not even watching this video. But my very good friend, George Allen, who's got a channel, George Allen LPs and CDs, is having a push to 200 subs contest, and I want to help him get there because he has such a fantastic channel. If you've never checked out George's channel, please make sure that you do. George is a fan of so many different styles of music, and George actually takes the time to sit down with the albums that he shows explains to you kind of the context of when the album was released, a little bit about the artist, who plays on each album. You're not going to get that from my channel. Are you kidding? I don't have time. I don't have the patience for that. But George is fantastic at what he does. And you are going to learn a lot from watching his channel. But George's contest is pick your favorite band from the 60s, 70s, and 80s and show one album each. Now, it's very easy for me, the 1960s, because if you've watched any of my videos, you know my favorite band is the Beatles. And George's favorite album is Beatles for Sale. George might be the only one I know who picks this as his favorite album, but it is hard to disagree when you actually give it a listen. Um, I really forgot how great this album was. I grew up listening to Beatles 65, which was the North American version of it. It's kind of a bastardized version. It's essentially side one of this. You got the uh, She's a Woman, I Feel Fine single, a track from A Hard Day's Night that they stuck on here. And um, I forget what else, but it's kind of a mishmash. But nonetheless, this is a great album. It's the Beatles in transition from kind of the mop top funny black and white hard days night through when they were getting serious bob dylan was a heavy influence on their sound and them taking songwriting more serious as an art form but it is a great album there's a couple covers on here one of the last albums that would feature so many cover tracks on it but it is a great Beatles album, and I've always loved the tracks on this. And George, I applaud you for picking it. I love everything about this. I love the cover. I like the back cover. I like the gatefold. That is very cool, even though it's kind of flimsy cardboard here. I just love it to death. So great pick, and Beatles are my favorite 60s band. Now, my 70s band, that was a little harder because I like Led Zeppelin, I like Black Sabbath, I like Deep Purple, I like ACDC, but the band that I have chosen is Pink Floyd, and this is their album Animals from 1977, classic, classic front cover, actually the gatefold of the Battersea Power Station with the pig floating overhead, which ties into the theme of uh, animals. And it is one of their darkest albums. I've done videos on this album before, so I'm not going to rehash everything about it. But I picked this one because on any given day, it might be my favorite Pink Floyd album, depending on what mood I'm in. But you know what? I listen to this more than I listen to Dark Side of the Moon. Not that Dark Side of the Moon is not a great album. It is, but... I just find I tend to be more in the mood to listen to this album than any others. Oh shoot, I'm getting near five minutes. We gotta keep the video under five minutes. So, Animals by Pink Floyd. And then the very last one, my 80s band. This was less of a difficult pick for me. Always loved R.E.M. They are definitely my favorite band of the 1980s. This is their 1987 album document. Got the great track, the one I love, and it's the end of the world as we know it, and I feel fine, and to a lesser extent, the finest work song, which was the third single off of here. But I have always been a huge REM guy, love this album, and I love George's channel. So make sure you check him out, give him a sub, uh, check out his content. You are going to love it, and you never know, one day you might get some VCLT because he's such a generous, great guy. Everybody take care. I'm just under five minutes, so woo! All right, have a great day.